Alright, yeah, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bullet Flow Tower. Today I got another full bottom of procedure done. I've had three of them now. How much blood do they want to remove from me? Anyways, so yeah, I, I got it done on this arm right here. And I want to tell you guys about it because bottom of procedures are always like a super duper 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 duper, duper exciting. Um, so today I had a pretty cruisy day at school. I could not have a coffee this morning, that made me upset, but that's alright. I am so out of breath lately. Anyways, 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 anyways. So today I went to school. I did absolutely nothing. Actually, no, I did some writing. I wrote some reviews. Anyway, so I finished school. And I got out of school. And as soon as we went out of school, my mom picked me up as usual. And we, we drove to the phlebotomy procedure, procedure clinic. We drove to the lab. At the lab. We figured that there was going to be no people in there like it was the last time we went in there a few months ago. Um, however, that was not, that was not true. That was not true. When we went in there, there were a bajillion people in there. And we had to wait 45 minutes until it was our turn. And the people called our name. And there was this lady. She was a blonde lady and she had a lot of piercings. Uh, ear piercings. A uh, doctor lady. And we went into the room, on the room, on the door, there were a lot of stickers, and inside there were a lot of stickers everywhere of cartoon char characters on the wall. And I sat down, and my mom sat down. The lady was standing up because she had to type things on the computer. And she looked at me, and she asked my mom for my name, and I gave her my name. She asked me for my date of birth, which was good, standard procedure, standard procedure. But because I think I got the lady the same the same lady that I got last time because she could also not do phlebotomy procedures on fourteen year olds. She said that she couldn't do it on fourteen year olds. That's that's uh I'm not fourteen. I'm thirteen. Um, but whatever. So she called in another lady to do it. Uh, the other lady she was nice, very talkative. She asked me about my day, and. And she did the full bonding procedure. I rolled up my sleeve. She applied the tourniquet. The tourniquet was very colorful, and it was, it was, it was a. It had a clasp on it. One of the clasps that you that you shove in, and then it stays there. And you can pull the thing to make it tighter, and then you can pull it out when you want to remove. And so she did that on this arm. And then she sterilized the area. She did not do it in a circular motion. She did it in a back and forth motion. That annoyed me a bit, but whatever. Um. And then she she got the needles and stuff, and she she put the bit into my arm, and then she removed the tourniquet. Then she put the vials in. She started off with the purple vial and then went on to the yellow viral vial. Very good order of veins. Um, I mean, order of tubes. Wait a minute, did she? I don't remember her palpating my veins. Well, I mean, my veins are quite prominent. I have quite a strong visible uh, median cubital vein. So I assume that she, had, she went, yeah, she did. Yeah, she did go for my median cubital vein. It's quite prominent. I don't think she needed to palpate my veins. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, and then she shoved the needles in. It took a while to fill up. My blood is very dark. And then she, she took the things out. And she put the gauze over it. And then she asked me to hold it. And then she walked out of the room. And then the other lady, the blonde lady with the lot with the lots of ear piercings, she she finished it up and she typed in a few random things in the computer, and then she looked at me and she was like, "Okay, plaster time," and she got a tiny little plaster. No, like I mean, like a tiny little plaster. She removed the gauze and she just put it directly on, and that was it. And then we just picked it out. Um, and you see, I had rolled my sleeves down again. And, like, on the way home, and during, like, yeah, for the next period of time, for the next few moments, I felt my arm being, like, really wet, like, just my entire arm. And I wasn't sure if, like, I haven't sweated in a really long time, so I was unsure about what it was. I was just like, oh my god, 
I hope that I'm not ble bleeding out. And then I went home. And as soon as I got home, I took my, my jersey up to see what, what the weakness was. And yeah, it turns out it bled out. Because the plaster was so small. Just all over there, it was blood. So I quickly, I was just like, oh no, okay. And then I wiped it up. I, I got a wet cloth and I just cleaned it. And then I got a bigger plaster. And this plaster, I need to get some cooler plasters. That'll be like so cool. And I put that on him and uh, yeah, it worked. It worked out fine and now I have another plaster. Oh yeah, guys, I also got a bit, uh, got some more monster stickers. I have four of these right now. One of these on my Nintendo Switch. Another on my CD player. Where in the world do I put the other two? I can't think of anything. I'll find a place for them. Oh yeah, I also, on my Animal Crossing island, I did a lot of really cool work. Um, Stitches moved out, and I kicked him out. Because I thought it would be funny. And so I spent, well, I, this happened yesterday. This occurred, this transpired yesterday. Um, I went on a massive villager hunt, and I, after like five bajillion Nook Miles ticket trips, I, I found Muffy. She's one of my dream villages, so she's on my island now. That's really cool. Um, yeah. That happened. Um, is my helix in? Hmm. Strange. Um, anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to watching House. I'm on season two, episode seven right now. Oh, like no, season two, season two, episode eight, or something. Um. Anyways, I'm gonna find a place to put these cute stickers, and then I'm gonna sleep or something. Big day tomorrow, guys. My mom and I are going to three thrift stores. I told her it's for um research purposes, you know, since I'm doing that review. Mr. Ladder on all of the um, op shops in my area. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you always updates. Bye guys.